This video tutorial starts with a loaded image and has been created to help you start making your own effects using the Effect Editor feature within Smart Photo Editor. We open the Effect Editor by clicking here. On the left of your screen is a diagram with two boxes called nodes joined by a connector. The left hand node is labelled Effect Input and this represents the original image. The right hand node is labelled Effect Output and this represents any changes to the original image. Note, the original image still exists as the Effect Input. Both nodes are activated by clicking. We create effects using nodes that are located in the tabs above the workspace. So, let's get started. Select the Hue, Saturation and Brightness node from the first tab with the star icon. Drag this new node into the workspace and make the following connections. When this is done, a green light appears, indicating that a valid effect now exists. Now the fun begins. A dialog box appears when we double click on the new node and shows a set of sliders that can alter the original image. For example, if we move the vibrant slider to the right, it makes our original image more vibrant. If we move it to the left, our image becomes less vibrant. We'll set this slider to show a little increase in vibrance. Likewise, if we move the saturation slider to the right, it increases colour saturation. If we move it to the left, our image becomes less saturated. Move to the extreme left and colour is removed altogether. We'll set this slider to show a little increase in saturation. For fun, let us move the hue slider to the right and to the left. Note how the basic colours are modified. We'll reset this slider to the midpoint. Click OK to accept the changes. We can alter the workspace size and use pan and zoom to get a clearer view of our effect. We'll stop here and let you try to create the same effect for yourself. In a later video we will see how to publish our effects, but let me suggest that we finish here and forget about publishing anything until you are more familiar with how things work. The effect created in this video is a very simple single path one. The next video looks at how we create more complex effects using more than one path. Try experimenting with other nodes shown in the tabs above. You won't do any damage, just play with them and see how they affect your image. Please note that not all nodes can be connected to all others as they are specialised. Have fun!